Alright guys, ZFR Gaming back here again today, and before I get in this video, just let me say sorry about the PS4, I know it's probably loud in the background there, it's gotten worse again, um, and two, sorry that I don't have a lot of actual Destiny gameplay for this video, I'm not gonna lie, like most of my Destiny stuff got deleted, um, so I only had this one clip, the rest of the video is going to be Warframe gameplay, um, but anyway, as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm pretty much done with Destiny at this point. And this isn't really anything new. I've felt this way ever since Rise of Iron came out. Like, after seeing what the uh, what the extra content Rise of Iron provided was, I just said, yeah, I'm done with this game. Um, pretty much... And just let me get out there. If you want my recommendation, I recommend you don't buy Destiny. Um, like, I recommend that nobody else pay for anything Destiny related. Now, obviously, not everybody's going to listen to that, but that's your choice, not mine. Just giving you my, my opinion on what you should do. Um, but, anyway, getting into this, and let him please realize... What I just said, that's not because Destiny is a bad game. Alright, I'm going to get into why I'm saying this. It's mostly just the prices. It's, like, it's ridiculous how they're trying to rip people off with this game. Like, I mean, Activision has no same at this point. Like, they have no same. Like, they did something very similar with Infinite Warfare, which looks like a complete pile of trash. Um, where they paired it up with COD 4 Remastered, um, just because they knew if they released them separately, people weren't buying Infinite Warfare. So, yeah, just like, it, it's pretty, like, this whole thing is filthy, alright? Like, it's pretty, um, just sameless and horrible that they're actually doing this to their fans, the people who fund their games, who fund them, um, who buy their games, and, you know, um... Get, keep them running and stuff put food and all that on their tables like they don't care like I mean and don't get me wrong I'm not saying um a game developer or you know a publisher should really care all that much because at the end of the day like yeah they are a business at the end of the day and they're going to run their stuff like a business I understand that but you know you could at least show a little respect to all the people who pretty much um who you pretty much owe everything that you have to like the people that have supported you all this time like they're pretty much like um it, it, like at this point they're pretty much kicking our kicking sand in our face and we're thanking them for it like at this point so yeah like it's getting harder and harder to support anything that has activism's name on it um and you can also blame Bunzi a little bit, I guess. But I would definitely blame Activism way more than I would Bunzi. Um, because simply, I know, I just know it's probably mostly Activism. Um, they, they're doing the same thing with all the games they're over. It's, it, it just sucks, guys. But, yeah, with the whole thing with Destiny, though, like... I mean, if you've been playing the game since day one, at this point, like, in order for you to even have a remote chance... At, um, you know, not being ripped off at this point, you either had the one just buy the game this year, like you just had to buy Destiny the Collector's Edition, and you would got actually a pretty good deal if you did that, or you had to buy the game day one, not buy any of the DLCs, and then you had to buy Rise of Iron. Now, that's like the only way. It's going to be possible for you to be playing Destiny and not feel ripped off right now. Like, real talk, like, if you've been playing it since day one, you've, man, you've paid, like, a good amount of money. Let's see, original game was $60. Then you got add on the 35 I believe it was, for the season pass, those two expansions. So, that brings it up to $95 right there. Then, let's see... The Taken King came out, and the Taken King was forty dollars. So that raises it up to um a hundred and thirty-five dollars. Plus, Rise of Iron just came out, and that was forty dollars. So now you're up to seventy-five, a hundred and seventy-five dollars. Wow, 
And on top of that, um, they had all these microtransactions that came in. And you know, a couple people paid for those. A average person spent like maybe five bucks with those. At least some people probably might have not spent any, but uh, the the um some random person, the average person, five bucks I would say, which means you're at 180 bucks, and that's not even counting all the tax. Some of that um. So pretty much at this point, you've paid like at least a hundred and seventy-five bucks for Destiny, a hundred, maybe more than that. Like if you've been playing since day one, and you've been buying everything when it came out. Now, I actually didn't buy Rise of Iron. There's no way I'm buying it. Like I'm done with the game. Like I said, they've officially like just become too scumbaggy for me. Um, and I've been saying this since day one. I've been on Activision case about Destiny since day one with this. Like, with the content and the amount of stuff they're trying to give you and all that. And how they're trying to, you know, just rip everybody off. And they're pretty much open about it, just about. Um, it's like, no, no, no way. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can't support it. Um, but this just goes to show you, like, I, there are still people commenting on that um Warframe versus Destiny video I did and people thought I was being a fanboy of Destiny. This just goes to show you like I'm not a fanboy to any game. If a game has a problem, if it, if it does something wrong, I'm going to talk about it. Destiny is a really fun game, a really great game. wrong stuff surrounding it. For instance, the price and what and like all the um slimy stuff the publisher is trying to do and stuff like I just can't get behind it but anyway guys I'm not gonna make this video mad long like it's already long enough um so anyway I'm done with destiny I'm not playing it anymore um that this time I'm for real I quit it once before a, a while ago like I think after yeah I quit like around the time Batman Arkham Knight came I can't remember when that was I think I was June last year so I quit back then and I'm quitting again but this time I think it's for good um or at least until Destiny 2 comes out I will see about that but like I said we'll see um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Give me your thoughts on what you think about Destiny in the comments below. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have something to say about that. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. ZFR out, guys.